All right, now it's time for me to practice fighting my punching bag. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, oh yeah, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, the brawler master. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, oh yeah, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, the brawler master. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, oh yeah, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, oh yeah, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, the brawler master. Kick! I'm ready for a new generation. Stand your ground, get ready to fight. Touch on, get your head in the game. We're down in the count for the game. Ashlyn, who's the best brawler of time? She's your favorite brawler as mine. Nobody can beat her in a single fight. She can find all day and all night. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, oh yeah, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, the brawler master. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, oh yeah, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, the brawler master. Fight, fight, fight! Ashlyn, Ashlyn, oh yeah, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, the brawler master. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, oh yeah, Ashlyn. Ashlyn, Ashlyn, the brawler master. Episode 13. Rylan Sacrifice Part 2. Rylan, what are you doing up there? Yeah! Now it's time for me to practice brawling. Hiya! 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 Take that! Ha ha ha! Hiya! Hiya! Things are certainly much different and better without Aliyah and her boyfriend messing around with their dumb little blankets. Hiya! 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 into that hole. Laura, what are the girls up to? Well, as per usual, Ashlyn is in her room probably practicing her brawling moves and... Huh, I actually don't know what Elias is up to. Is Elias still sad about what happened to her boyfriend? I don't know. Do you want to go and check on her? Uh, why? Well, I, I mean, it's 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 been two weeks since her boyfriend was in the hospital. He should be getting. He should. He should. He should. Rylan should be getting better sometime soon by now. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna go 
see what Elias is up to. Okay. Hey, sweetie, are you okay? Yes. Are you still sad about what happened to Rylan? Yes. Um, I know it's really sad that Rylan had to jump into the hole. Yeah, he didn't even... Before you left to go to the hospital two weeks ago, he never even told me why he was doing it. Uh. And I even, yeah, and I, I even tried to call Rylan on the phone while he was in the hospital. Like, for him to tell me why he jumped into the hole into the first place, and he wouldn't answer the phone. Rylan didn't even call back? No, he didn't call me back either. Uh. <laughs> well, if you're that worried about your boyfriend being in the hospital, bump that mess for me. The house is now much a quieter place. Not without you or Rylan fooling around with your blankets. And now that Rylan is in the hospital, what do you think you're going to do about it? So, what if Rylan probably jumped into the hole to... Just to get mine and his blanket back. It wouldn't be a surprise if he was sacrificing his life to get my blanket back. your blanket than the possible death of your boyfriend thinking that your boyfriend would sabotage his own life just to save a stupid blanket of yours that causes you no more than a bunch of mayhem to me yourself and a bunch of people around you <laughs> it's rather an atrociously dumb and irrational choice to even think about making so yeah no joke seriously one of the funniest but at the most part one of the Worst things I've ever heard you say in my entire life. Seriously, one of the worst and dumbest things you've ever heard me say in the four and a half years we've lived on this earth? Seriously? What do you mean seriously? It's an of course kind of thing. Thinking somebody dumb enough would just save a stupid blanket while simultaneously killing themselves in the process. Wouldn't you understand that? No, of course not. Because all you want is your stupid blanket back, just like how you're talking about right now, thinking that your, that your boyfriend would sacrifice his own life just to save a measly blanket. How much longer will he be in the hospital, Daddy? I spoke to his parents. They said hopefully not much longer, honey. I want him to get out of the hospital soon. I know, honey. I want him out, too. But as long as, as long as he's got his own supportive family to stay by his side, and you've also got a supportive family to stay by your side, then I'm pretty sure everything will be okay. <sighs> okay. Pfft. The boy simply shouldn't be alive anymore after how he jumped into a deep, dark hole and knocked himself unconscious. It's likely a 0% chance of him... Being able to survive out of the hospital. <laughs> I'm gonna get you.
Hey, Ashlyn. Huh? Hey, what's going on with Alaya? <laughs> Just sitting there being sad. Why? Oh, wait, because you got rid of her blanket? Yep. <laughs> oh, well, well, she can just sit there and be sad all she wants. There's no way she's going to get that blanket of hers back. Yeah, after I finally threw it off the cliff and got rid of it for good. Yeah. And with that, life has actually been much better with you, hasn't it? Yep. Life has been much better with me. Home has been much quieter. I've been able to practice brawling more and more and more without getting distracted by Alaya just mumbling with her blanket. I know, right? Yeah. But one thing I am kind of wondering, though, is whatever happened to Rylan? <laughs> Rylan is in the hospital. Wait, what? Why is he in the hospital? Well, this might obviously be a little bit hard for you to believe, but the fact of me throwing both Rylan and Elias' blankets off the cliff so they would never get them back again, Rylan actually thought it would be a great idea to jump into the hole and sacrifice his own life just by saving him and Elias' blankets. Sheesh, but why would Rylan even do that? That's suicide, so he basically just killed himself over a couple of blankets. <laughs> just being, just Rylan being as dumb as he is, trying to sacrifice his own life just to save a couple of stupid blankets. That's insane. So now Rylan is in the hospital? Did, did he go unconscious after he fell in the hole? Yep, he did. Is he going to survive in the hospital? Mm, hopefully not. Oh.